into a crop top like this. Realize there must be more to life than this. Reaching for the stars, traveling so far like a dragonfly. Just grab my hand from him send. So this top is very easy to make and looks very cute on you. So let's get started. Start off by taking your jean and measuring double the length you want your top to be. Here I am taking about 21.5 inches. Then mark it on both the legs and cut it out. Once that is done, rip the side seams of the jeans open with the same ripper. Do it on both the leg pieces and you should have two such pieces. Now take a measuring tape and measure the length of your top on both pieces and mark it. Before cutting, pin both the pieces together. Now here is a tip, if you use a wide leg jeans, you don't need two leg pieces to make the front or the back portion, just one leg part should be enough. Since mine was a slim one, I had to take two leg pieces. Now draw a straight line on both the pieces. Once drawn, fold the piece together and cut that line. Now this is your front piece of the top. Unpin the pieces and then Fold one piece in half, make sure the side seam is on one side and draw a diagonal line and cut it for the neckline, leaving a bit extra for the hemming. For the stars, like Do it on the other piece as well. Once that is done, flip the pieces so that the wrong side is up and stitch both the pieces from the center and also hem the top and the bottom edges. Once done, it should look something like this. Now moving on to the back piece, take the remaining fabric of the leg piece and from one side, cut a straight line for both the pieces so that it's easy to stitch them. Then, draw a straight line at the bottom edge and cut it as well. Now always pin such pieces so that you can avoid the uneven cutting. Place this fabric on your back and see how much you need to cover your back and then cut the extra before you proceed to the next step. Now you can stitch the two pieces together like we did for the front one. Or you can add a zipper like me. For that, place the zipper down and take one side of one fabric and fold its edge and then place it on one side of the zipper and stitch it down. Do the same with the other piece edge. Or you can stitch the closing together as well, whatever you prefer. Once done, it should look something like this. Now don't forget to hem the upper and bottom edges for this piece as well. Simply place both the pieces right side together matching the front and the back zipper seam. And if you see the extra like I do, which you don't want, just cut it out and stitch the side seams of both the pieces together to close the top. Now for the last part, take some rectangular straps from your jeans and if they are short, join them together from their one end to make it long and then fold both of its edges inside and then do one more fold to make it a neat strap and then stitch over it. Once done, just attach it to your top, front and back. You can go for simple back or you can do a crisscross like me.
Once done, you can either leave it like this or decorate your top by adding laces or buttons or anything you like. Here I'm going to add a simple white lace to the bottom edge. You can either glue it or stitch it and you're done. liked it and if you did please don't forget to hit that like button share with your friends and also subscribe to my channel and if you do try any of my diys don't forget to share it with me on my instagram page that is the woke doll or my facebook page the diy girl i'll be so happy to see them if you do send it through now let's get on to the featuring okay so the first one goes out to tanmay dasari and she says oh wow that's a great idea and it helps a lot thank you so the second one goes out to Sargam Bhatti and she says it's a huge life saver for people like me who always end up spoiling their zippers. Thank you the DIY girls. Actually it's not girls anymore, it's just DIY girl. And thank you. So guys if you haven't seen that zipper video yet, it's right here. Click on that i button. Okay so the last one goes out to Steph got it and she says I definitely learned something new. This is going to be very useful in keeping my favorite mini bag that I use to keep all my music pack and stuff for my fitness classes thank you so much i'm so glad that it helps you out stay fit and if you also want to get featured in my next diy video turn that notification bell button on after subscribing to my channel and comment down below if you're going to try this crop top out or not if you liked it or not and anything you want to say there and also add a tiny little note that you have turned your notification bell button on so that i can know and select three of you guys for my next diy video until then bye bye Just go away with me, darling